normal intro. Hi everybody, welcome to the Two Hour Track Challenge. My name is Ben underscore Burns. Today we're going to be writing a song in two hours or less. Um, I am not really sure what I'm doing today. Um, I just, I've been trying to figure out how to do ads because Twitch or yeah, Twitch is changing that whole process and it's a whole thing. I started the timer. Um, we can get going. Uh, I don't really have much for thoughts today. I'm in the midst of doing the solo album month for November. Uh, whoops, I must have updated this and then didn't run it. Yeah, would I? Sure, I'll refresh. That'll take a hundred years. Um, wow, they really did change this. I mean, that's kind of cool for them. Well, I'll let that run for a while. Let's uh, let's do something else, huh? So, like I was saying, with Twitch, they've been messing around with how how they manage ad breaks and they give the control more to the to the streamer, which is great, but it's also like limiting because I don't want a one minute ad break every ten minutes or every twenty minutes, and I also don't want a three minute ad break every hour, but That's literally the song I did last time. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm just uh, trying to think of what I want to do today. Oh, it's still really hot. Also, like, my camera is really dark for some reason. This is still propagating. I have no I have no idea how long that's going to take. Uh, let's see what it can, does random still work? You know what? We could do some like dub tech. That might be kind of neat. So, let's, uh, let's see what we can do with that, yeah? We're going to have to figure that chord out too, but I'm also working with a new desk setup, which overall I'm very happy with. Um, but like the camera positions a little different and the monitor positions are different and it's it's all different and I'm still still trying to figure out how how to work with it it's like everything's just like moved around enough to throw me off and I've I've made songs with this already like I've been doing the national solo album month Wow, that was a really beefy kick. I thought my sub was still on. Um, yeah, so it's like I've been I've been working with this setup already, so it's not completely foreign to me, but it's definitely um, not what I'm used to, and I'm I'm getting there. Yeah. I mean... Let's get kind of weird with this, huh? Maybe? I don't know. Again, uh, this is also not my normal stream time. Um, Uh, so there is that to contend with as well. Hey, Wolves, how you doing? Yeah, I figured you're you're usually starting around now. 
I have, <clears throat> excuse me, I have uh, Monday off, so I figured I would do the last stream backlog. So this is going to go live on the 29th for the two-hour track challenge. Figured I'd try to be proactive, you know. What have you been working on with your stream lately? Hey, Subtle, how you doing? Yeah, I, I figure that's going to be what uh, a lot of people are going to do today, and that's okay. Um, I have a feeling that this isn't going to work great for... Uh... I should have kept that pattern, though. I'm just going to use a hat there instead, just to make it a little bit more palatable. Um... I wanted to try that though, because I think that that's a neat pattern. I haven't had a whole lot of time for personal experimentation. Oh, right, you were working on like a lot of commissions, right? Well, you know, commissions are not a bad thing. They definitely keep keep you moving. Um, I'm actually going to manually throw a reverb on here because I don't want the kicks. I just really want kind of the high-end stuff. Um, I'm also not really sure where this song's going yet, which is fine. Oop. <laughs> yeah, I mean, remember to save. Hey, everybody, remember to save. Um, <clears throat> I can't imagine this is in C. I think it's decent. It feels like let's do one without the processing on it. Sorry, that was so loud. Jeez, that was very loud. Yeah, so I'm looking for like some really minimal stuff, I think. Um, So multiple to help a buffer. Yeah. Yeah, man, I I have been there. I know how that goes. It sucks to be in that position. Um hopefully you'll find a, a good avenue for you too. Like you get you get pretty good viewership on your Twitch streams, which is nice. So hopefully you can I mean not to talk business, but like hopefully you can le leverage that and like continue to build a community and, and honestly like it's it's more about like that community stuff far more than like the level of output you do right i'm not i'm not saying quality or whatever it's more just like you know if if you have the people that are there and like are interested in what you do i think that that goes a long way and um 
and just like continuing to to grow as an artist. Oh man, I use that. I mean, it's not even a chord progression, really. Let's let's try to let's try to like stick to to like this, right? So we're going. Um, Yeah, no worries. Have a, have a good one. Obviously not those chords, but uh, or not not that instrument, but Oh, Ableton, you okay there, buddy? Ableton's freaking out. Come on. There you go. Um, I don't know why that happened. Like, it always worries me when stuff like that happens, where it's just like, why did, why did, why did, why did everything just freeze for a second? That, that makes me uneasy. At the wrong thing armed. Pick out scale degrees of bass progressions. Yeah, like so, 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 so often, um, I'm just like, um, so we're in E, so. It's the same chord progressions here. I just I, I don't hate it, and there's a reason why I use those chords so often because they work and I like them. But it's also like, maybe, <laughs> maybe I should try to expand my range. Um, yes, and exactly. Like I like how they sound. Um, and I don't know. It's it's hard. But like the other thing we can do is we can just sit on this chord, you know? And we can like build on that and like try to But you could also just go like this. Which is what I always do, which is the same thing as Except, you know, it's an E instead of C. <laughs> so, you know, it's completely different. That's just the McDonald's thing. Do 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 do. <laughs> Whoops. Um. I did that once, very 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 long time ago, in uh, in a two-hour track challenge where I'm just like, this is a great melody. Whoops, that's the McDonald's theme. Um. Yeah, and those habits, and I'm very strongly in the opinion that those habits are what your style is, like as as an artist. 
Like you just you you have these habits, and uh, it's just like how you approach this stuff, you know. Okay, that is lined up. Ableton, there we go. Ugh. Come on, please remember the groove. There we go. There we go. Um, so E. Cool. We got a nice little loop going here. So where are we going now, huh? <clears throat> so it's like... <laughs> yeah, that's actually, that's actually pretty apt. So we can like increase the cutoff which I think works pretty well for like evolving the sound just a little bit. But I don't want to go too hard because you heard how loud this is when it's just by itself. But I think if we kind of push it like that, um, should be good. I do like the idea of like a late night snack kind of thing. Like just vibe into the grocery store and, and picking up like a bag of Cheetos and a terrible hot dog. Which I have not done recently, but I have definitely done in my life. Um so it'd be like Oops. So chords, what are they? I'll figure something out. <laughs> I won't. See, being in being an E is really messing with my head. Nope. So it's. though how about this let's just loop this bit and re try to record some stuff i need to be more organic with this kind of stuff actually i like that a lot uh, aside from this just being really quiet
Man, being an E is really messing me up. I mean, 11 p.m. chips, <laughs> that's pretty good. Like, what, what do you want to call this? Like, bodega run? Midnight, midnight bodega run or something? I do like Midnight Bodega Run, that is... <clears throat> cool. So we've got... <laughs> pasted my face in the wrong spot. Um, remember to save! Hey everybody, remember to save. Oh, Ben. That's not how music works. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. Ableton, what are you doing? It's just like randomly freezing, and I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> um, yeah, nothing out of the ordinary here. That would be the fifth would be B. Yeah. I do have, I've had Bitwig. Well, I used to have Bitwig. Yeah, there it is. I've had Bitwig installed flight for forever. Oh, it's hidden behind chat, but um, it's on my list. when that's going to happen but it's definitely on my list oh this is t -t -t -t.
that first loop I did. Um, oops. Good. But yes, I do I do plan on messing with another DAW next year. It probably won't be right away. Um, just because I have so many other things that I want to mess with. But it's definitely high on my list. About this, let's go like this. Um, bum, 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 bum. Look at that, I did the same chord progression anyway. Kind of. Yeah, what's that? I have no idea. <laughs> Some nom nom niac. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I hate that. You are right. I hate that. <laughs> um, do we want to push this out by another bar? Like that. Oh, let's see if our. Maybe this is why things have been hecking up because this is still. <laughs> this is still going through the samples folder, trying to reallocate everything. All libraries, forty or twenty-five percent analyzed. <laughs> I have too many samples. Um, okay, so we'll just let that keep going. ADSR sometimes. Well, I just updated it, so I think it had to reanalyze everything. Um, so I'm just going to let it go, but at least that lets me know why it's happening. Uh, because I didn't know why Ableton was like being so stuttery and weird, but it's probably because it's allocating all those samples and like building metadata and all that other garbage. Scale is messing me up, that's for sure. Hmm. 
So we've got like a nice groove going here, so that's good. Okay, are any of these minimal loops like good or are they just like... Okay, let's try something. I imagine a lot of these are set at 120 BPM or something similar. Hundred twenty-eight standard. Um, I just kind of wanted those little bongo sounds, so Maybe this won't work. But it, like the thing is, it adds another layer, which is really all I was looking for, right? another little bit for drums here so can never really go along with wrong with a ride symbol something like again it's just like high end sizzle right you, that's all you really need That's not right. During last night I ended up watching symbols being made. <laughs> really? Now I'm curious. Cause I know they're just more than like a flattened piece of sheet metal. But I imagine that there's a very distinct process for a lot of that stuff, huh? Oop. So we're going. It's a nice chord. It's not exactly the most efficient way to do it, but Yeah, I, I, I do know that it has a lot to do with, like, very specific hammering and all that other stuff where you have to you have to make sure that it sounds right. And if you have to tune it, then you have to hammer it in certain ways. 
So that part makes sense. I I just didn't. I thought that it was more like kind of automated at this point. It was just like smoosh some sheet metal together until you get the sound you want. But I guess I guess it's more involved than that. Okay. So let's do a better chord progression here. Da, da, da. to save. Yeah, better remember to save. Sorting these chords out. There we go. That's more what I want. Okay. Oh, I'm sure there's like factory made ones that aren't as tuned and stuff. So yeah, there's, it goes in degrees, I'm sure. That's what I want. Um, right, God, that's so annoying. Okay, what do we want to call this song? I mean, I know we've got like 20 minutes left until the, the hour mark, but I think we're at a point where we can safely kind of give this a name and find a, a, a proper direction for it. This did not end up as uh, dub tech. <laughs> Which I'm okay with, honestly. Bodega run, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Um, that I want to save it just in case everything explodes. figure out where I want to go with this, you know? Oh, another thing we could do. Uh, samples, please. Thank you. 
uh, we can find a good clap sound. Um, mm -hmm. Perfect, no. Maybe. We'll find another clap sound for the other one so they alter alternate. weird plate reverb on that, but we can at least try it. They actually sound very similar. <laughs> Let's try that one. Which is weird, because I was not trying for it to be similar, but here we are. actually closer to what I wanted. How about this? Let's move this here. Move this here. This has to be swung because I don't have a thing on it. I just need to vary these up a little bit to make it feel more personal. I was going to say human, which is the correct word, but I guess I'll just say personal, which is weird. There we go. There we go. These could be shorter. got just kind of like a chill vibe, yeah? There we go. thing I could do if I really wanted to like not worry about this so much is I could just go into this and just do like a pitch modulation but like oops it's four not five do it at a different instrument we don't have to do this um <clears throat> let's find a good lead what should we use for the lead hmm hey story girl how are you doing i'm doing all right i am kind of just Figuring stuff out today, yeah?
Hmm. Oh, God. Oh, I hate this so much. I don't want to use Contact 7 for everything because it kind of stinks. Because you have to wait for it to completely load before you can use it and like look at presets and stuff. I don't know why contact gets worse with every update and it's forcing you to use its most recent version because it's of course not compatible with its older stuff. So it like updates stuff in the background and then it's like, oh wait, no, you can't use this anymore. You have to use the other version. And it's just like, oh my God, I just want to make little beeps and boops. It's just like too floopy. You know, it's too floopy. synth. I do like this one. It tends to cut through cut through things pretty well. God, I do like this. This, this loop is really good though. Um, I'll have to look that up. Uh, I have a timer so I'm not going to be BST. Braukraut Engineering. Gotcha. Cool. That looks like a good one. Exactly, and those those are sound sound quality and ease of use are definitely high on my list for things that I want to do <laughs> or that I want to work with. I'm just trying to think of like how I want this to sound, and I do I do like this sound. I feel like it's a little the reverb delay stuff is still a little much. And I might just put the, the pitch shifter on there for the, my sanity right now so I can just play in C minor. Yeah, the lower register is probably where I want to be.
to cry. Okay, so we'll have like a lead in here. Just do one actually. Yeah, we'll go like this. <laughs> Launch yourself into space, Ableton. Why not? Um, doing huh cool yeah so this this song is called bodega run which is kind of well captain subtle thought of the name where it's just like kind of like late at night 11 o'clock midnight and just want a snack so it's just like you know you have to run out somewhere and grab something remember to save hey everybody remember to save Stop crackling, please. God, okay. Just clear the cache and then it'll stop crackling. So one thing I don't like about the remember to save stuff is it messes up the audio card so bad for no apparent reason. No, we could do a bar two four here. Keep things moving. Yeah, that's better. Messing with this one little note. There we go. How do I want to do this? What's all this crap? Um, bum, bum, bottom. Uh, 
Okay. One problem fixed, at least. time selection okay so ad starts in two minutes and 40 seconds so we're going to copy selection to main lane so just hit enter okay kind of curious to see if we can just like muddle something together you know it's because i've never done this before it's all about experimenting that's a huge mess <laughs> that's okay um all guitar recording i've never really used the take the tank lanes the take lanes before and i think that there's a lot of value in it but there's also a lot of like trial and error because i don't remember what i did and what i liked you know but i can also go back and like manually add things so it's like yeah and I, I think i need to get better at like that workflow because um i think there's a lot of value in that okay so Here's what's going to happen. We've got an ad that starts in 30 seconds. Um, I am going to take a brief breather. I'll even pause the timer. And we'll, um, we'll just vibe for a little bit. Um, I won't work on anything. I'll, I'll just hang out. Um, this is like, I'm trying to be better in control of how Twitch manages ads because I hate it that they just throw people randomly into ads. So I'm going to start the three minute ads. We'll hang out, um, play some piano or something, and then when people get back, they'll get back. So, yeah, I don't know. This is this is something that I'm trying to figure out. Um, appreciate that. I'm still trying to get used to this E minor scale. Like, I, I am very mid about these ads and, like, them forcing me to do this. But, like I said, I would rather have it in a way that I can control rather than just Twitch randomly throwing people into ads. So I guess it's okay. But it kind of sucks for people who are subscribed or people who just, like, showed up and all of a sudden they're just thrown into, like, a three minutes of ads. And that sucks. Oh, and 
that's the thing. Like, maybe it's because you showed up at a certain point. Like, you don't, it doesn't count for ads for you. Because I don't think, yeah, and, and that's entirely possible too. Because I'm sure there's like some some counter that happens in the background where it's like, okay, you've been watching this stream for, you know, 20 minutes instead of the full hour. So maybe you get one minute of ad or 30 seconds of ads or no ads. And it's like, I'm, I'm just trying to find like a way that makes it palatable for people and also like a way that I can like control it, you know? And it just sucks that I have to do it at all because like I hate the idea of trying to monetize this stuff because I'd rather do it for educational and like for fun purposes, but you know, that's not how, that's not how capitalism works. Okay. We'll start the timer again. Okay. Um, get back to it, you know, so we're working on this. And I guess we're back for another hour. I like that. I don't like that. Um, so. Oop. Oh, right, because. Oh my gosh, because this is all hecked up now. This is supposed to be F. There we go. Um, so that's kind of the problem with having it transposed like this. It's all over the place when it comes to like... So yeah, like I, I will tolerate ads if it makes everybody's experience a little bit more uniform on here, because I really don't want to be working on stuff. And then it's just like, oh, we were in the middle of a conversation, ad time. And it's like, it's all gone now, you know? Whoa. Because like being, talking with somebody and then just having them get thrown into an ad break really sucks. What is happening here? Um, chords? Just lower the velocity on these two. But, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to work within the boundaries that are set for me. And, you know, it's no fun for everybody, but... Okay, I don't know what I'm trying to do here. Um... So we're going to have like this little solo bit and then we'll sort something else up. Okay, and 
that's where I screwed up. <laughs> oh man. Um Like seriously, that revenue I make from ads is pretty minimal. I think I make like $100 a year from ads. Okay, that's a pretty good loop. We can work with that. All y'all, get out of here. Um... Remember to save. Once again, remember to save. Crackles it up. Hey, everybody, remember to save. I just don't know why I have to, like, completely kill my audio for it to work again. I need to figure that out. I don't know how to fix that, but I need to figure it out. these like runs that go like this we can can mess around with this so I don't know that's kind of interesting right that's an interesting thing to do that's what interesting people do with their lives I do want to change this a little bit because it's very similar. There we go. We can also work on like scooting these up a little bit more, even though that's going to get really loud at some point. So I was thinking we could like go back to um, something a little bit more mild. Kind of like that. Boom. 
because we're not. Take care, Captain. I appreciate it. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Um, so we're looking for the fourth, which I think is here, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like I understand the intervals and how they work. It's just like my brain does not know how to translate um, from C minor to any other scale. And that's just me sitting down and learning stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Heaven forbid. go from here, right? Kitties are being a little crazy today, I think. At least one of them is. Let's uh, let's clean this up. This is uh, a little little frantic when it comes to like the rhythms. <laughs> I am also kind of struggling a little bit because it's bright out. And that makes my monitor a little harder to see. As much as I'd love to have a studio where I can control like the lights, I think I would be really sad if I never saw the sun again. Which is kind of what would happen. So I'm not trying to push all of this directly onto the... Okay, so I was a little off here. Yeah, because at one point in my life, I wanted to move my studio into the basement because it was a lot. I had open space down there, and I got to the point where I was like moving my desk and stuff down, and I was like, oh wait, I'll never see the sun again, because I'm like always working on something. So I was like, no, that's probably a bad idea. Let's go like this. Ableton, please. Okay, is this still running? We are at 77% analyzed. It has been over an hour. <laughs> oh man. going with this. I don't like that this has so much reverb on it now. I 
Does this just have like a long cutoff? Let me dig into this a little bit. Sound. Amp envelope release. Way too long. Alright, no, that's only... Okay, so that's not too bad. Can I go into the release on the... Excuse me, diffusion. Try this. I don't want to, like, completely destroy it, but I also want to make sure that... That's better. So I'm thinking we could do a bit of a lead in here, you know? Again, like we're looking for a breakdown, but it doesn't have to be like massive. So something like this is probably good enough. I guess that does have to be there. Whoop. No, okay. Let's do that then. So we have like this breakdown. Song's gonna be pretty short, huh? I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of at a loss as to how to progress with this. And it doesn't have to be, you know, this songs don't have to be six minutes long to be valid, but it's also kind of like Just 
Ableton stuttering is not helping either. <laughs> I'm also just tired. It's all good. It's how it goes. 83% analyzed. I mean, I know I could turn this off, but then I just have to do it later, so... Remember to save! Everything's out to get me today. Now I just want to do like a kind of a big swell like that, you know? So we're having a breakdown that leads into a breakdown. <laughs> Which I honestly, I'm okay with. this nice loop to listen to until there we go nope ableton is just poop in the bed it's my fault i should have i should have stopped the analyzing thing but it's just like i just want to make a thing i mean i saved recently it's fine it's just annoying that you know technology I shouldn't blame technology. It's, oh my god, I'm getting like one frame every 10 seconds now. There we go. Are you done? Are you finally done? No, you are at 86%. Why is it so slow? <laughs> All I want to do is I just want to drag this out. <laughs> Tried to, I tried to move a dial, and then it froze. Um, so how's everybody doing today? You having a good day? It's weird that Ableton's frozen, but I can still... I can still, like, play the keys. I'm glad, I'm glad that you're having a good time. I really shouldn't, I've, this is, this is me paying for 
deciding to let that thing run while I'm actively working instead of just running it in the background when I'm done streaming. So, you know, that's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's a-okay. Okay, so unfortunately, these are too quiet now. So I'm going to raise the volume of that eventually. Oh my god. I might actually have to stop the analyzing thing and have it start all over again. Because this is untenable. It was, it was like fine for the last 90 minutes and then suddenly it just decided to actually start working, I guess. And Okay, so I'm going to save it the next opportunity that I get. And then we'll uh, try to stop the process from running. Okay, I saved it. Yep, 86%. Get out of here. Does that actually stop it? Or does that, does that still run in the background? I think it's still running in the background. <laughs> Thank you, I'll plant a tree. Got to do something productive right now. Add tree. Nope, it's still running. How about I just close Ableton? Because I did save it. I'll save it again just to make sure. <laughs> I can still, even though Ableton's like... How about this? Can I just delete this? Let's see if that fixes it before I... I just deleted the thing that was doing all the analyzing. I also noticed that, like, down here the names are there, but the icons aren't? That's weird. is just not my friend today. I guess that's just how it goes. Let's not over overburden this whole thing. I like that loop. Let's not let's not burden it too much with other stuff. getting somewhere. I'm just like trying to Hey. Uh no. <laughs> I will not. I am working. 
Uh, I have a Discord if you want to post it there. People will see it, including myself, and we'll comment on it, but not on stream. I think I actually have a... I can't remember what it's called now. Um, yeah, request. There. That's a very long, or a two minute long video as to why. It's like, I'm not trying to be shitty about it, but it's also like... Other people are working. And... We all got our own stuff to do. Feels like it's missing stuff. No, I guess it's just that kind of... Vibe. I thought there was like more stuff going on here. I guess with the lead. could be Where do we go from here, you know? Hmm. I mean, we do another one of those and then just kind of have it fade out. record something new here, but I just want to make sure that it flows well. Um, wonder if I can like push the drive on this just to give it a stronger feel. instrument maybe there's a lot of options Oops.
I lean on that flattened fifth far too much. Remember to say. Oh my god. Why is it so crackly? <laughs> funny. Wait, that's four, right? All right. Yeah, that doesn't work. Like, ideally, it would be adding another instrument. I don't know what that other instrument would be. Because I don't want to go back to the saxophone while I, I do that too frequently. Um, oh my god, this fucking pedal is driving me crazy though. Ableton just drives me insane with that stuff where it's just like just don't preserve the sustain pedal just don't do it making a quick instrument to see if this is worthwhile. Um, oh, Jesus, why is that so harsh? Because I'm up an octave. This layering kind of stinks too. Um, That's not bad. The hell key am I in? I'm driving myself crazy today. That's what I get for trying to learn new things, yeah? Get out of my comfort zone, you get uncomfortable. I think it sounds fine. What if I drop this an octave. Okay, that's not interesting an octave lower because it's mushing up with everything else. Um
Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of out of ideas today. It's like you you start with something interesting, and that's great, and then your brain's just like, nah, man. <laughs> scales even. Oh man. Yeah. I kind of hit my limit on this one. Which is too bad. But I don't think it's a really terribly complex song anyway. But, um, so it's like kind of whatever, but hey, how you doing? Uh, there are 20 minutes left, but it might be less than that, depending on how my brain feels. We can play the whole song, though. I do like this track. struggling with the solos and some of the kind of ephemeral ephemeral bits We could also like intersperse the chords back in here for like kind of a sucks um so another thing i was thinking i mean we've got time we might as well use it instead of just you know screwing around um So we can 
just to make my life slightly easier. Ableton sustain stuff though. I can't imagine why it's not just a default setting where it's like clear all MIDI CC every time the track stops. There's no reason why that should be a thing. kind of like that there's like a little break in here that has boop, boop, boop. okay let's get my swing right oh yeah doom jazz uh bochren and der club of gore Black Earth. I was actually listening to that pretty recently. Oh yeah. Um, if you uh, like that kind of stuff, check this album out. It's very, very much the uh, kind of quintessential uh, expression of doom jazz, where everything is like 60 BPM and real, real dark and menacing. Um, otherwise, if you wanted my take on that album, I created a song called The Moon Seems Or I created an album called The Moon Seems Unaffected, which is basically my version of Black Earth. Um, still one of my favorite albums. So it's kind of Black Earth is the inspiration for the moon, but uh, well worth listening to if you like that if you like that style. probably could like the biggest thing about doom jazz is that it's like 30 bpm right so it's like really chill absolutely trying to be organic with this. I really don't like manually adding notes, but I feel like I think Doom Jazz track of Paul Stretch's singles. Yeah, I mean if, if you listen to Black Earth, they definitely do some synthy things that aren't necessarily related to Paul Stretch and stuff, but there are some light synth stuff in there and, and things that you can use for inspiration. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. So another thing I need to do is I think I need to have like a like a brushed crash or something. Drum kit packs. 
So we're we're still missing an end to this song, which <laughs> isn't ideal, but we actually need to finish the rest of it too. I didn't lose a whole lot of time worrying about the Remember to save. Everybody remember to save. Um, we didn't lose like a ton of time with the whole thing messing up, but we definitely could have saved some time too. So it's a little frustrating that we're running low on, on minutes. does not have any personality <laughs> oh dang it um cables crazy how not not theory works and you just leave something in a box by itself long enough and it'll just knot itself into a big mess okay so let's hold on to this but let's just make something new um i'm not gonna do a saxophone though i refuse do a muted like trumpet maybe that might be interesting. So... Sure. Um... make my life easier and do the pitch thing again. Excuse me, that was gross. <laughs> oh boy, ad breaks are about to start again. Well, how about this? I'm going to run the ad break right now, and then um, we'll finish this up. I'm going to pause the timer. We're going to play some piano for the people hanging out, and yeah. And we'll get back, finish this up, and we'll, uh, we'll wrap things up. It's kind of the other thing that bothers me about the ad breaks, right? Like, if I'm doing a stream for two hours... 
like it's guaranteed to at least have three ad breaks because I have to start with one. I have one in the middle and I have one like exactly at the end. Now it'll be less of a problem once the two hour track challenge is done because then I can focus more on um, not necessarily time challenges and I can just be like, okay, well, it's been an hour. I'm gonna get up, move around, do you know my normal things. And I don't have like a, I don't have a deadline. And I'm also not really planning on pushing this stuff to YouTube, so I don't have to worry about that whole process where it's like, well, now I have to vamp for three minutes every hour to like make the YouTube video interesting. Cause if I just go to the be right back screen, that kind of sucks. But um, once the two hour track challenge is done, I think I'm gonna be pushing a lot less production videos to YouTube. For a lot of reasons. For one, I feel like people do watch them on YouTube. but not as much as uh, some of the shorter content. breaks almost over but it's I mean it's nice to just like sit and play the piano and do like a little bit of a palate cleanser but just like the whole idea that all of a sudden you have to like stop everything you're doing and like do something else for a little bit because I don't I don't want people who do watch ads to be punished by like not actually um, enjoying the content <laughs> instead it's just like I don't. I don't want to be have pe people be punished by being forced to watch ads because Twitch is forcing me to force people to watch ads. So it's just like I want to make sure that like what I'm doing is still available to people. Oh my god! Every time. <laughs> Just gonna end the song like this it's not it's not anything groundbreaking but that's okay um we got to clean up the solo i think we should be okay
Like, I know we were running out of time limit, and that's the kind of the thing that I was talking during the ad break, where it's just, it kind of sucks, because, like, I have to do three ad breaks for a two-hour stream, because there's one at the beginning, one in the middle, and one at the end, and, like, the one at the end really sucks. Like, like when you're watching, for those who actually watch TV still, <laughs> but, like, for those people who watch TV, or it's just like, oh, the show's over, here's an ad break, oh, now the show's credits are happening, it's just like, oh, well, this sucks. Um, so, yeah. Right. Change the rhythms a little bit. Ableton, please. <laughs> It's not exactly, I don't know, like I said, I kind of ran out of steam on this one. I do like the song in, like, overall. We can give it a, give it a listen. I think I'm going to call this one done, though. Definitely went in a different direction than I was expecting. <laughs> Which is fine. on this a bit. Even if the song itself is kind of like so-so, this this is cool. So, you know, there's always like diamonds in the rough.
There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it is a cool jam. Like it, it has a neat vibe to it that I really do like. Um, I feel like I kind of ran out of steam on this one, but it's also been a busy week <laughs> and I haven't eaten in like 12 hours. More than that, actually, I haven't eaten in like 16, 18 hours. So I need to go do that too. <clears throat> but we did make a song, and that's the cool bit, right? Um, I am going to raid Fedrin, because I know they are streaming right now. Why can't I just copy-paste your name? <clears throat> I really don't like how Twitch manages raids. I think that it should be way easier. Um, so yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. Um, this is, like I said, going to be the song for the 29th of November, and then I'll get back onto our regularly scheduled programming until the end of uh, January. Have a great time zone. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, for the rest of this month, I'm going to be working on the National Solo Album Month, which is the kind of chill out uh, ambient atmospheric stuff. So that has a lot going for it. It's still two. Um, but it's getting there, and I'm enjoying it. So until next time, I hope that you have a fantastic uh, rest of your day. I, I will be streaming on Wednesday. I'll be doing more uh, album stuff on Wednesday. So more exploring sound design and all that other stuff. So until then, I hope you have a good one, and uh, I'll see you later. Love you. Bye. Oh, yeah, it was a good stream. It was a good stream. I, I wish that I... Uh, had more ideas <laughs> also streaming when the sun is in my face actually kind of sucks so that's the other reason why i do more afternoon evening streams i think so i'll have to figure out a way to get around that so i'm gonna run the raid um but until next time i'll see you later Bye bye just went to a be right back screen <laughs> anyway bye bye